Hello and welcome back to KD's Business Tips. Glad to be with you. Michael Lapid here talking to you in this video about how to make your business meetings more productive. And let's be honest, you always got to have meetings in business. Not everybody likes them. Some people like them more than others, but they're important. And they got to be efficient because if they're not productive and efficient and you just waste time sitting around, you're really not getting anywhere. You're just wasting time, right? So first of all, reduce number of meetings to what's necessary. Don't just have meetings for the sake of having meetings. Too, much me too many meetings can take too much time away. Very important. And they actually can turn into a negative impact because everybody gets stressed. Everybody has a big workload. And they're like, we're just sitting in meetings all day long. Try to reduce the number of meetings, but look at the key meetings. What are the key meetings that you need to have? Because the meetings are important, but don't overdo the meetings. Schedule them. Make sure they're concise. Stick within that hour or two hours or whatever that meeting is. Stick within that time frame. Now, also, when the meetings, I think part of the problem I've seen before in other companies is people don't take the meeting seriously. They don't show up on time. Everybody's shooting off the breeze. They get on bunny trails, and, and it's just not productive. You need to create a culture in your meetings where they take it seriously. Who's ever in that meeting needs to take it seriously, and you are the leader. You need to create that culture. Remind the team to respect each other's time, right? Remind each other to say, hey, we got to respect each other's time here. We got to be serious. Okay, set the agenda ahead. Set the agenda in advance, the day before if possible. When you have an agenda, you are much more likely to succeed in your meeting than flying by the seat of your pants and just having a few things jotted down. Have an agenda, let the others look at it in advance if possible. Decide if you need to be in the meeting. Can other people have meetings without you? Do you need to be in every meeting? Who needs to be in these meetings is key. Is there other people you could take out of these meetings? Only have key important people in these meetings. Don't just have a meeting for the sake of having a meeting, okay? Do not have last meeting minute, uh, last minute meetings. Try not to have them outside of business hours, obviously. Set a time for everybody in the meeting to have their opportunity to speak. Create your agenda, create a flow, make sure everybody takes it serious. Okay? And try to keep those meetings concise, short if possible, right? Don't linger on issues that you can't resolve in the meeting. This happens in a lot of meetings. You go on these bunny trails or you get on a topic you can't resolve and you drag on and on and on. Big mistake. Set it in the parking lot. We call it a parking lot. And call it what you want. Set it aside in a list. Get to it later. Come back to it. Set yourself a time limit on those important topics that you just can't get resolved and you're just going around and around in circles. Put them aside. They'll take over your whole meeting if not. Don't let them linger. Close with an action plan. So very important. I like to say there's three categories in a meeting. There's your information items. Right? Things that are just information people need to know. There's discussion items, things you need to discuss that need to be discussed in the meeting and you know, look at. We got to look at facts and data and discuss them. And then there's action items. What are we doing? What has to be done from this meeting? Set the action items from the meeting to make sure that when you get out of that meeting, things are getting done from the meeting. Because if you're just having a meeting and nothing's getting done, probably shouldn't have had the meeting. And if you got any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for being a part of our business tips, and we'll see you in the next video.